This is up Squid Family and welcome back to another Squid Family video. So this is kind of an update of where I have been for the last month I think it is. There honestly has been so much going on that I think it's a good idea to update you guys on everything with the house and a few other things that have been going on with me. So sit back, relax, maybe grab yourself a snack and let's get into this video. So as you guys know, there has been a lot going on. I am kind of going to split this video into a couple of parts just so that it's a bit easier for A, me to keep track and also B, for you guys to kind of follow along with what's been going on. So, I have a new phone. That is kind of update number one. So, the phone that I used to have was the Samsung Galaxy A70. Now, this phone has lasted me for about four years, I think. Three, four years. I got it at the start of the COVID pandemic and I've had it ever since then. It's been a complete workhorse for me. Uh, most of my YouTube stuff was done from this phone as well, so it's had its day. But the story behind me getting a new phone is a little bit of a weird one. So, long story short, I got home after a day out with my partner, put it on charge, and thought, yeah, it'll be fine. It died whilst it was on charge, so I'm thinking, okay, it probably needs an update, let me have a look, see what's going on. No. <laughs> I... There was no update, so I just thought, okay, I'll leave it on charge overnight and just see what it does. I woke up the next morning and my phone had only charged to 9%. So I then called my best friend Fee and was like, hey, what do I do? My phone's completely dying on me. And I was only on the phone to her for like two minutes. And my phone dropped from 9% to 2%. So I knew that there was something wrong. But then again, I've had this phone for like four years. So it's probably just the age of the phone. I've had this phone case for about that long too. So I can't believe that's lasted. Um, So yeah, I went over to hers and borrowed one of her old phones. Eventually, I have paid her for it just because of we came to an agreement that I would pay for it instead of borrowing it and then having to give it back because then that means that I have a spare phone. So yesterday or the day before, um, her other half, Barry, came over to do an odd job for me that's been niggling me for like the past two years um, and he got that sorted and he went... So I've heard your old phone cr uh, crapped out on you. Have you got it? And I'm like, yeah, I've still got it. Because it's still got, like, all my old photos and stuff on it. Like, it still turns on, but it doesn't turn off. <laughs> Since Barry's tried to sort it, it now doesn't turn off. So that's kind of rendered useless now. I'm kind of just waiting for it to die so that then I can whack it back on charge again and see what it'll do. Because when I had it on charge, it was taking like three days to charge to 100%. So I honestly don't understand what's going on with it. But I've got one and I can get back in the swing of YouTube again and just sorting out every other problem that I have going on right now. I have also been getting into writing and creative writing lately. I started to write down kind of my autobiography kind of. I mean I know I'm not like this big famous person and whatever but I kind of wanted to write it down, see how much I could remember 
and just get it all down on paper because it's quite an interesting like story it's got a few twists to it and I'm really really enjoying writing that at the moment plus I have been getting into creative writing and I am really really loving writing and just getting these ideas that have been in my head for months if not years and just putting them down on paper it's been a really nice like outlet for me which is really awesome so I've been working on a creative story that kind of follows two people that go to a comic convention together and um, one of them ends up meeting someone and I've just been really getting into the whole creative writing aspect and seeing how far my imagination will go. So that's been awesome. Plus, I've been writing down like some poems and like a couple of song um, things and just really letting my imagination flow and testing the limits. So I've been really enjoying that and it's been like a really nice way to kind of just let my emotions go. So I've been, sorry that's a fly, I've been doing that for ages um, and I've just loved it. The other thing that I wanted to update you guys on as to why I kind of haven't been around on YouTube at the moment, aside from the whole phone problem, is... I've been getting back into my drawing and painting again. I kind of fall in and out of love with it. I guess it's kind of when I have a bit of a block. Um, but I've been getting back into it and I have been doing some Christmas presents slash birthday presents for people. So I kind of wanted to show you guys some of the ones that I've done. I will be blocking out names because a few of them have some names on. But the first one I did was this one. As you can tell, it's a Tottenham Hotspur inspired one for my partner's granddad. And I'm really, really happy with this. The shirt and the lettering that's under this piece of paper was an absolute pain to get straight on the shirt. But I did it and I'm actually really happy with this. Uh, so all around the edge it's got Tottenham Hotspur legends and just some of the famous players. And this is the vintage Tottenham logo as well which I'm so happy with how that came out. It's a little bit wonky but it'll do. So I did that one for him. The next one I did was this one of my partner's mum's dog. I was so happy when I'd done this one because I did one of my dog Tinker before and that came out really, really well, but I wanted to kind of try and do another one. So I did this one for her for Christmas and I really love how I got the purple in there because um, her dog's theme is everything is purple. So I thought that would be really nice for her. The next one I did is a Christmas present for my partner's nan. It's this one here. She is an avid gardener and I thought this would be really, really nice for her. I'm just covering a couple of them because they've got names on them and I don't really think my partner would want their names out there right now. But yeah. I'm really happy with how this turned out and the little tiny bees and butterflies are so cute on this too. The next one I did is for one of my friends. I did this epic Mickey Mouse. I tried my hardest to copy his signature from Disneyland but I'm so happy with how this turned out and the little tiny stars all over it as well. The shading as well took me so long, but I'm really happy with this. This one kind of took about, I think, two hours, maybe a little bit longer, but I'm really happy with this one. He is just so, so cute, and I love it. Please ignore my camera trying to focus. I'm still getting used to this phone. 
And then the second to last one that I did is this stitch one. This is for one of my really, really good friends. And if she sees this, she's going to know who, who this is for. But I'm so happy with this. He looks like he's jumping out of the canvas, which is really cool. I wasn't quite sure about how I was going to do that, but I managed to pull it off and I think it looks really, really nice. And then the last one I did is uh, this one. I'm not actually going to say who this one is for just because of if they watch this video, they're going to know exactly who it's for, but I don't think they will. But I just did the Spyro and Crash Bandicoot with uh, Spyro's Gems and the Wampa Fruit from Crash. And they're two respective villains in like a silhouette behind. I'm really, really happy with how this one turned out because this one is mostly freehand, especially for the villains in behind. But I am absolutely in love with this. Plus, this is the first like full canvas one that I've done and I'm really happy with it. And they're all like dated and signed on the back so that they know like when they were done and things. But I have been really getting into my art lately and just been loving trying new things. So just a general update on how I have been. I've been doing quite well lately. I've had a couple of little mental wobbles but other than that I've been completely fine. Um, me and my friend Fee have been meeting up nearly every week and just having a girly sleepover for a night and just chilling out really. Um, I've recently been down to my partner's for the weekend just to uh, see him and spend some time with him because he's been coming to mine nearly every weekend since like the end of June I think. So it was nice to just get away to his for the weekend. I say it was a weekend, it wasn't, it was a little bit longer than planned. So um, last weekend we went to a county show and I was only supposed to be there from Friday to Sunday or Friday to Monday and um, I ended up staying till Wednesday because there's been some crazy stuff happening like I wasn't very well and then my neighbour across the road called me the day I was supposed to come home and was like hey you have no electrical water in your house because they didn't have any electrical water. So I asked her to come over and check, and she checked, and she's like, yeah, but you don't have any water or electric either. So I ended up, I stayed on another day at my partner's, just for everything to be sorted. So <laughs> it's just been flipping crazy lately. Um, But yeah, I've been meeting up with Fee, and I've sort of had a few nights out with Eden and my friend group. And yeah, it seems to all be slowly falling into place. Like, uh, Mifi and Eden have got a sleepover this weekend that we're planning. Um, and then Saturday we're going out and watching the new Beetlejuice movie, which I'm so excited for. Like, Tim Burton is one of my favourite directors, and I'm so excited that there's a second Beetlejuice coming out. So we've all planned to go as a group to go and see that, which will be awesome. Um, and my partner's coming up to stay that weekend, I think, as well. So yeah, it's been going good. Also, I'm going to see Lauren next week as well, which I cannot wait because I haven't seen her for like a month, which is nuts. But yeah, so it's all slowly going and... I know I have been away from you guys for a little while, but that's kind of the reasons why. But there will be some new videos coming out soon, like I'm going to do a tattoo tour. Um, and once the house is sorted, I'm going to try and do a house tour. Um, like a final goodbye to this house, I suppose, when that happens. Um, once I've moved, I'm going to do a house tour there so that you guys can see my new digs. And yeah, I've got some ideas within the works, but 
some of them are kind of longer than others like it'll take longer to plan but we're getting there slowly the last kind of update i have for you guys is to do with the house and the move so we have gotten to the point now that the draft contracts have been sent and my solicitors have been working trying to sort out everything with that i had to go in a little while ago to fill some paperwork out because i was having some issues doing it on my phone and then obviously the thing fucking died on me so (laughs) it's yeah it's been flipping crazy the amount of crap that has gone on since i last spoke to you guys like in an update sense so yeah we're at the draft contract stage so it's moving quite quickly like i can't get over like this time last year i was just putting my house on the market for sale so like it's crazy how quickly it's gone um obviously we had a kind of setback in the middle where my buyers dropped out and we ended up we had to find someone new but that all happened and yeah i'm just trying to get my head around the costs of everything at the minute because it's been going flipping nuts like you don't honestly realize how much these things cost until you do it like i know when my grandparents moved into this house from our old one we didn't really have or i didn't really know what any of the costs were or like really how much it costs to move so honestly it's crazy that me at 25 has been put in this position where i can afford to move house which is honestly nuts and i still can't get my head around it now like a year into this nearly honestly it's nuts but i'm still trudging along i'm still sorting out stuff within the house and trying to figure out what i'm taking and what i'm leaving and it's all a stressful situation but i'm kind of loving it i feel like i strive on stress and just craziness i guess like it really seems to help me sort of knuckle down and go right this needs to be done meanwhile i'm still sat here a year later and i still have like half of the stuff in this house that i don't need but we're getting there slowly (laughs) so that is it for this video i hope you guys have enjoyed and yeah it's been a little bit of a weird update we've kind of jumped around a little bit here there and everywhere but i hope you guys can kind of understand where i've been for a little while so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please leave it a like and maybe subscribe if you want to if you want to catch up with me and what i'm doing So, yeah. Bye, guys.